Hello YouTube, this is Joey uh, for day 8 of Vlogtober and today I want to talk about hot sauce. So, <laughs> kind of a random topic but um, I couldn't think of a good idea and I needed to knock my video out early today so I um, wanted to talk about uh, something uh, that could be easy and I kind of just looked up, I just typed into Google random topics to talk about and um, I got a list and I just saw, ooh, one of them said, do you like hot sauce? Yes, I do. Yes, I like hot sauce. So uh, I'm going to show you some of the hot stuff. It's not going to necessarily be a sauce, but most of it's sauce. And then there's some hot stuff that I wanted to talk about. I guess I'll get the non-hot sauce stuff out of the way. The first thing is my personal favorite, cayenne pepper. This stuff right here goes good in just about um, any thing. <laughs> Uh, you can put it in macaroni and cheese, you can put it in pasta sauces, uh, just anything, anything that uh, you cook, you can put this stuff in, it doesn't take much, and it and it gives a, a little kick to, to anything, so, and it doesn't, it adds, uh, if you put a lot, it'll add some flavor, but if you just put a li little bit in there, it just adds, adds a little bit of heat, so, um, that's mostly what I use the cayenne pepper for. Uh, I also have some red pepper flakes uh, it's not actually this brand I just saved this bottle because to have something convenient to shake the red pepper flakes out of um, I actually got these red pepper flakes from uh, got some plastic floating in there <laughs> um, I got these red pepper flakes from uh, when I lived in Austin we had a pizza party at work one day and uh, I said oh can we get some uh, red peppers to get with the pizza, crushed red peppers. And when they brought back this huge tub, it was like this big around, about that tall, packed solid with uh, red pepper flakes. So I've been working on that for about four or five years. Uh, and I finally got it down. This is the very last of it. I got about half a bottle of it. So uh, now on to the hot sauces. Uh, the first one I'm going to put uh, talk about is the old standby, the Louisiana hot sauce, the original. Uh, if you go to Popeyes, I think they have this uh, in little packets, which is pretty neat. Uh, Popeyes chicken. And uh, this is made in New Iberia, Louisiana by Bruce Foods. Uh, very good stuff. Uh, I think the Cajun cook Justin Wilson used a lot of this. Um, just kind of your standard hot sauce, uh, but pretty tasty. Uh, the next one is another old standby a lot of people are familiar with, Tabasco. I don't use too much Tabasco sauce. Uh, it's kind of got a, an odd little flavor to it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't use it very much. Uh, but it's it's pretty hot, and I, I enjoy it. It's uh, also made in Louisiana. And uh, if you let it sit long enough, all of these, if you let them sit long enough, they'll kind of separate out. So that's kind of neat. You just got to shake them up. To get them going again but uh, this is a pretty good one too uh, and it's a little bit hotter than Louisiana sauce in my opinion uh, the next one is Cholula I hope I'm pronouncing that light right correctly hot, Cholula hot sauce this is the original flavor I think they make a green one and there's a chipotle which is like a smoked uh, pepper flavor one uh, but this is the original imported from Mexico uh, it has. It also has kind of a distinctive flavor. I don't know how to describe these different flavors. This one kind of tastes more like the uh, Tabasco sauce to me, and it is hot. I think it's a little bit hotter than the Louisiana hot sauce as well. Uh, but it's very good. It's a little expensive, uh, a little bit more expensive than these other ones, I guess, because they have to import it. Um, but it's uh, it's very good and. Um, probably one of my favorite of these three just uh, from a flavor perspective and heat perspective um, here's one that I have not tried but I bought a big bottle of it and it is uh, sriracha I guess is how you pronounce that I don't know how you pronounce that I'm sure if I looked it up I would be able to tell but you can go to any um, uh, I think it's probably in the Asian section of your grocery store 
I think I've never seen a grocery store that doesn't carry this crap. And uh, it's made with it's made it's a chili sauce, so not really a hot pepper sauce, a chili sauce. And uh, at some point, I plan on trying this. Haven't tried it yet, so uh, I'm not really sure what to do with it. I'm just going to. I think I'm just going to cook some rice and add it to that rice, and uh, see what it, how it goes, and then uh, maybe add it to some dishes later. Uh, but it's one I want to try. All right, and the last one, last but certainly not least, and in fact my absolute favorite is Humphrey's barbecue sauce, and you can see this one's well used. Uh, I use it. I actually use it kind of sparingly. Uh, it's a local product. It's made in Huntingdon, Tennessee, which is my hometown, and it contains vinegar, ketchup, pepper, sugar, and salt. So very simple. Uh, it has a kind of a barbecue sauce kind of flavor to it, but it's not sweet at all. Uh, so I'm not sure how much sugar they put in it, but it can't be very much. It's, uh, I mean, there's a, a ever so slight, you know taste of it but um, it's it's not very sweet and it's mostly got a, a peppery like a, a crack cra um, excuse me cracked black pepper kind of flavor to it uh, it's also very hot so it's um, it's not extremely hot but it, it's pretty hot it's great on barbecue chicken just about anything uh, so there's that one <laughs> uh, don't know how to tell you how to get that, by the way. Uh, I get it uh, whenever I go home and visit my parents. And this is kind of an old bottle, but uh, I think they've changed the bottle now. But anyway, pretty good one. Uh, definitely recommend If you ever see it, get it, try it. Um, and the last one is an uh, honorable mention, also made here in Tennessee, uh, although I've seen it nationally. Uh, it's called Allegro, and it's more of a marinade. And they make a hot and spicy version, and uh, I love to marinate stuff. And that steaks are great if you put that in on steaks. They they make a, a non hot and spicy version, which is kind of like Dale seasoning. I know a lot of people use that, but it's um, got kind of a soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce kind of uh, texture and uh, taste to it. Uh, but it's very uh, it's very hot. They put crushed red pepper in it, and it's pretty good. Um, so that's an honorable mention. I just don't happen to have any right now on me. So uh, uh, that would be my honorable mention. Anyway, really enjoy my hot sauces. If you have any hot sauces you'd like to recommend to me, please do. Uh, post them in the comments below. Post a video about it, whatever you want to do. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my little tour of my hot sauce repertoire. Anyway, peace out. See you next time.